I think the most important suit to own is a black suit. It's very versatile. You can wear the jacket separately, or of course you've got a pair of black dress pants. Just make it simple. Classic, sophisticated, and black. I think some guys are into navy, some guys are into black. Black, navy blue, big debate for the first suit. Many men choose navy because it's like a deep midnight, and I think it's going to serve you in the same way. Once you've got a black suit, then I think it's, it's nice to get some fancy stripes, some dressy stripes, just to have a little more variation in your wardrobe. Or you could even do gray. If you're really feeling bold, if you feel like you want to get your fashion on, you could do a two-piece gray suit. Bottom line is about putting it together right. Right now, three-button suit is the most popular. But most men who don't quite know which direction to go, I think the three-button is great because it gives you closure options. Me personally, I like the two-button suit. Now the two-button, a little more fashion forward. And what I like about the two-button suit, this is great for men that are really athletic. The two-button suit is great for a guy who's slightly bigger in the chest. So what happens is, You'll get a deeper V and it makes you taller. I don't button jackets. I probably should, but I don't button jackets. When I do, it's the middle button. People argue a lot about how many, which button they should do up. Well, it's actually the middle one. I only like the middle button button personally. It's supposed to sit on your belly button pretty much. The top two button is a little more dressed up looking. When you want to arrive for an interview, then that's the way to do it, buttoned up. What you don't want to do is button the bottom button or the bottom two buttons. Just remember to leave this one. Act like it's not even there. You never button the bottom button. There are two kind of shapes of jacket. One is a more forgiving, softer shape, larger shoulder, roomier sleeve. And that's very much the traditional American model. The other version is a more classic European, you could say British or Italian kind of cut, which has a much higher armhole which means that the hole here is much, much smaller. The irony is that actually it's more mobile because there's less cloth flapping about. For me, it's all about comfort and fit. When I put on a jacket, if it feels good, I feel good. Once it feels great against your body, look in the mirror. And you want to make sure that the shoulders sit nicely against your shoulders, that it doesn't buckle in the back, that it doesn't look too boxy. If your suit fits properly, it's going to look more expensive and have you stand up a little taller, if you will. There are two rules of thumb for the length of the jacket. You know, one is about an inch below the break of the seat. The other one is that right where you cup your hands, it should hit right there. Generally, your sleeve should sit just about where the beginning of your thumb joint is when your arms are like that. Obviously not when it's like that or like that. The debate about pleats and triple pleats, single pleats, no pleats, flat front, uh, has raged as long as there have been pants, basically. I've never been big on pleats. I like flat. Those flat front pants are going to lean you out just slightly to the eye. And also, ladies prefer flat fronts over pleats. I'm a pleat guy. I like to have a little bit more shape, a little bit more contour added to my pants. Now, to cuff or not to cuff, that is the big question. When you have the double pleated pant, you definitely want to cuff. Now, when you have the single pleat, you have the options. You can cuff or not cuff. Now, when you go for the flat front, look at this. The flat front, you never want to cuff. 